The last has not been heard of the amendment and passage of the electoral bill. In a recent development, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, said the 2023 election timetable would not be released until the Electoral Act Amendment Bill is signed into law. Meanwhile, the National Assembly has passed the Electoral Act Amendment Bill after removing Clause 87, which provides for compulsory direct primary election for political parties instead of the Senate and the House of Representatives approved direct and indirect primaries as a mode of electing candidates for political parties. This is um, quite swift by the National Assembly. I don't know the arm that has done this by removing this clause. So if both arm, if they remove this clause, if they harmonize it, and um, if what the um, civil society organization, Yaga, Africa and Co., uh, some fundamental errors, I uh, like like 15 errors in that uh, act, mm -hmm. according to what they say, if they are able to just clean it up and get it to Mr. President, I'm sure Mr. President will be able to sign this act, removing this direct um, um, primary clause, that's clause mm -hmm. 87, so that INEC can start planning. We don't have time again. And the, what they basically done is to leave it to the parties to determine whether it is direct primaries that they in want direct. to adopt or indirect. Mm -hmm. So it's no longer a case of um, um, forcing parties mm -hmm. to adopt um, um, direct primary as a single mode, into it. As the single mode of mm -hmm. determining um, who becomes standard bearer for parties. You know that from the beginning, even the, the PDP caucus in both houses did not really like the idea. The idea uh, emanated from um, what transpired during the APC World Congresses and mm -hmm. the rest when mm -hmm. some governors literally quarantined National Assembly members and made sure that they could not even pay a part in the, in the whole thing. So they saw it as um, an attempt to destroy them politically. And they, they tried to fight back. But of course, Given the structure and character of our, our politics, the president bowed to the, uh, the desires of the governors. He refused to sign. And Very uh, powerful governors. Yes, he refused to sign. And the, the lawmakers had no choice. Of course, they, they, they threatened initially that they were going to use their veto. But you and I know that this uh, generation of lawmakers do not have the cheek to they don't have the cheek to 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 use the veto on on, on, the, on the president you know not not under this leadership even when they are of the national assembly yesterday about the, uh, the the advantage of the direct yeah, mm. he was lamenting he was telling us he was still telling us about mm. the, <laughs> the yes. advantages yeah. yet yeah, my hands are tight you know there is <laughs> a, 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 on, on the one hand he would want to um, see how he can save a lot of his colleagues because the governors, some governors, second time governors, are interested in the seats currently occupied by by the Senate because. president's colleagues. So whatever they do, they will lose out. In fact, I was with a governor who was threatening that the leading lights of the desire to help uh, uh, um, direct primaries will hear from them. Yes, before the man, man. The he was boosting. He said, Jide, you will see. Jabi, you are supporting them. You will see. You know, I was supporting having uh, a, a something more participating. Yes, they do not see. Body. The average so politician. Come and sit down here and the, the average politician reasons like the data boys that they have unleashed on social media. They never look at the bigger picture. I'm looking at something more participatory that gets everyone involved. Very similar to how politics used to be in those so days. The person who identified it should be are something to the But if you are watching the program, they watch the program now. They knew that from the beginning I killed behind. Because <laughs> let's face it, during the Awolowo years, mm -hmm. people owned the parties. Mm -hmm. People owned the parties. Mm -hmm. People yeah. sponsored candidates for elections. Yes. 
with the check of dues and all mm. that that they pay with their they have dues. Their cards. Yes. They are proud of that card. And they were happy that to attend meetings orders. all the time, so they, they, they didn't want to be left out. But what do we have? Parties no longer sponsor candidates. Go governors have taken over. If a governor does not like your face, you will not be anything. And that's what I think that we need to resolve. Why are, are they running a task shelter now, trying to resolve disputes in various states? The, it, those disputes usually arise in the months leading to the election wow. and in the conduct of the primaries. In a democratic way. Yes, when you so show people out, you are better to be happy. No. Hmm. Sam, so the speaker said they can't afford to throw away the baby and the bath water because something like this before, it has happened like three, four times, if you remember. Even, the, even during the third time bill, third time amendment, uh, of this, so immediately the third time crashed. All the, everything the American constitutional amendment went with it. Mm -hmm. The same thing when the electoral amendment immediately there's one problem there, everything goes. But we want to salvage this now to make sure the president will be able to say, okay, okay, remove clause 87 and let's sign mm -hmm. because we cannot afford to use the 2015 electoral act for, <laughs> for 2023 election. Yeah, you see, I, oh, I, I feel a sense of pity for the speaker and the Senate president. And um, I say so because it, you wonder what Nigerians would make of you know, their conduct with respect to what has become of the Electoral Act Amendment um, bill. I mean, the impression that was created the period leading up to you know, uh, the passage of the bill was that this was the best thing that could happen mm -hmm. since the creation of bread and butter. Don't you know, and, and fights. Yeah, and then, and then suddenly you wake up. I mean, you, you, gave, you gave Nigerians the impression that, the that, na, yeah, that, na, that they had the backings of the people. It was convenient to tell so us that. Go to go back yes, to our constituents. It, it was convenient for them to tell us that they were coming back. We come, we come back. Exactly. <laughs> so, so what became of the backing that they had from, from the constituents? <laughs> Only for them to chicken out? I don't agree. I don't agree that they were completely helpless in this matter. It just speaks to the character of our political system. There is a huge loss of reputation, and they must live with that. Nigerians mm. are not impressed. No, they are not. Nigerians are not, are not impressed. Mm. Many, people, can... many people back them. <laughs> yes. yes. And, and look at how they ended up. And then, yes. and then you... They they just the, back in fact, they threw the, 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 the people under the bus. Yes. Uh, they they can't put up a fight. Mm. They can't put up a fight. So, but you see, you see there were a lot of our colleagues. Right. People like Ayo who did not see anything in this thing. <laughs> now I can see why. There were a lot of... Because a lot of our colleagues actually predicted that this is a waste of time. Of course. You know? And this gov this lawmakers sometimes um, will want to give you the impression that they were utterly serious. You know, when the governors called for they a call meeting, it yes, you know, you know, flatter to deceive, or what's yeah. that uh, <laughs> phrase? You know, when the governors called for a meeting, they quickly they 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 they, they didn't want to have a meeting with those governors so that they would not they would not uh, commit themselves. You know, so you want to see that uh, you say, ah, these guys are serious. Look, they mean it this time. Yeah. And some yeah. of them boasted that, look, we may use our veto. We've seen the we've seen the veto used before. You know, uh, against the yeah. but that was just that time. But many people felt ah, if something has to do with their future, mm. because it's political suicide that we are looking at now, right. that they could be pushed to then use that veto. They have the power that they are reluctant to use. Remember that speech that uh, um, this man, uh, Bonusa Senator, uh, Ondume, yeah. he, he said, we have this power. Hmm. He was telling the Senate president, he said, if you do not want to do it, you, you can step yeah. aside. You know, they will give, they will make uh, recommendations, the recommendations will be uh, pushed aside and all that, you know. So, now, this one concerns their future. A lot of them will not come back. It's a very yeah. easy prediction to make. In politics, people, people are, are reconciled, in inverted comma, reconciled. But it doesn't get to the bottom of their hearts. Mm -hmm. So these governors, as I'm telling you, they know the these governors are, are already baying for blood. 
how to now how did now these lawmakers who a lot of them will survive it i, will, I wouldn't know because, because they are waiting out. for them they lost out yes as they as totally as lost as out as, as you said they, they lost out. out because when they look at the that recommendation mm. and a lot of people would not say